What's up my friends on YouTube, this is Bahama Raven speaking and welcome to this new part of my let's play of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. In the last chapter, we actually went inside a prison and rescued some prisoners, of course. And we actually had a lot of fun with the boss. <laughs> okay, without further ado, let's head into chapter 11. I actually like and dislike this chapter at the same time. There's a reason for it, you will see it. But anyway, without further ado, let's head in. This is actually gonna be a little bit of a clusterfuck. Mm. Chapter 11, Blood Runs Red. Dude, I'm trying not to say any curse words. <laughs> and then I say the F word connected to another. Oh boy. This map, Port Toa. Well, we're here. Welcome to Toa, Crimean's westernmost port city. What's with this place? The people are going about their business. Why aren't they worried about Dane? About the war? It's because this area is fairly isolated. Dane's army hasn't come this far, and so life goes on as before. Dane's plan is to seize the capital, then slowly and steadily expand its sphere and influence until it controls everything. Surely these people have some idea of what's happening. Yeah, I kinda doubt that. Ignorance is a form of bliss, is it not? These people don't know what it's like to lose a war. They don't want to know. Crimea as a nation, as a nation has always been blessed by peace. Perhaps this is due to the temperament of its rulers, but the country hasn't seen serious warfare for centuries. While minor skirmishes with the Kingdom of Dane have been legion, only the eastern borderlands have taken damage. And yet, even I know this, this peace will not last. Oh, this is better than a death flag, Ike. <laughs> when we met Dane forces on our scouting mission, they attacked us merely for being within the Crimean border. Humans are shameless creatures that carelessly ignore any misfortune which does not befall them directly. Kinda have to agree on that. They can, and often do, Turn a blind eye to all manner of wickedness so long as it does not touch them or their kin. They will bow their heads, condemning those victims for bringing calamity upon themselves, and then they will cast their eyes toward heaven in thanks while their neighbors lay dying around them. But the war is happening here. There is no, they, this is their home, not someone else's. When the Dane army darkens their doorsteps, perhaps they will understand. Yeah, this is a sad truth about war, sometimes this is actually the case. When the peace they take for granted is shattered, and their son and daughter slaughtered in the, in the streets, perhaps then they will comprehend the misfortune they so long pretended not to see. I have no sympathy for them. My goodness, the nastier the truth, the blunter he gets. It's actually a good quality with Soren, to be honest, I actually like him this way. Quite a delightful staff officer you have there. He um he has an undeniable streak of severity in him, but but this something's bothering him, that's for sure. It's to be expected. Even I'm a bit shocked by this place. Can they truly be as placid as they appear? Soren's a very empathetic young man. The emotions of this place may have proven to be too much for him. Ignoring impending doom because you cannot prevent it. Fatalism is by nature a disheartening beast. Well, for all that, for all those born with nothing, there are those born with everything. Perhaps those who never notice the difference are the ones who should, we should envy. That's what was that supposed to mean? Uh, oh, I was talking to myself. Pay me no mind. Hmm. Now then, I got to see a man about a ship. While I'm gone, why don't you get your supplies squared away? I'm sure that the journey ahead will cry a lot of packing. Ronald, I'll go with you. No, no, that's alright. You should supervise the supply acquisition. You're going to be at sea for months, you know. I know that, but... What is it, Titania? She's worried about me. She doesn't want to leave a solitary lagoon wandering around the Bjork city. But I thought Crimea and Galia were allied nations. Why would a wandering lagoon be cause for concern? Perhaps you haven't l listened carefully to what Kanegis said. Well, it shouldn't be, but... Do you remember what King Kanegis told you? Exactly what I thought. 
The friendship between Crimea and Gallia exists only between the ruling classes. It hasn't taken root in the minds of this common citizenry at all. That being said, have improved quite a, things have improved quite a bit since King Ramon ascended to the throne. The reports of hunts and such other horrors have all but disappeared. Oh, don't worry, I'll be fine. I got connections, see? It's not like I'll be roaming around the docks for be begging for passage. Alright then, the job is yours. Please be careful. You too. Don't mess anything up. Yeah, we'll talk about that later, I guess. Okay, we got the battle report. Real quick, I'm going to check it. Eh, I got some money left. I think I know what to do with it. Oh, I got actually some good bonus experience, not gonna lie. It's actually nice, I needed some. Marshall was the MVP. Oh god, <laughs> especially for dodging that arrow, am I right? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, dodging the arrow in chapter 9, I meant. <laughs> okay, uh, things have gone well. I actually have some units to talk about, so let's do that uh, real, real quick. So, uh, let's see, let's begin with Brom. Brom is an Armanite, and when you look at him and you compare him to how Gatry was before leaving, you can actually see that um, he actually has some slightly more speed, but less strength in defense. Well, he's, all, he's only level 8, so that's okay, I suppose. But if I wanted, if I want to use an Armanite, I would probably go for Gatry. I never used Brom that much, but from what I heard, he can actually be pretty good. At least that's what I remember hearing from some dudes. Oh well, uh, he has no weapons yet because he was a prisoner, so I'll have to give him some. But I'll, if I, it depends if I use him or not, really. He has a D rank lances and no skills, so that's pretty basic. And he has the water affinity. I think water increases the attack and defense by uh, 0 0.5. So it's it's neat, but actually very... Um, how can I say it? it? It's not really all that good. Usually you want to aim for hit and avoid. When, you when it comes to support. Or, or one between attack and defense, not both. Water affinity in my eyes is actually one of the weakest uh, affinities. But oh well. Brom is a pretty decent unit. Not sure if I'll use him because um, Gatry will probably be back soon. We're going to see him again. And by the time he joins back, I think Brom will actually become irrelevant unless he gets some very good levels. Okay, uh, let's move to the next unit. Uh, High Volki. Gonna give that javelin away. Uh, Leth, Rolf, Oscar, Titania. Oh, Nefni, the soldier. Yes, we actually get us a playable soldier in this game, which is actually pretty nice. Nefni is one of those units that is really loved by the fandom, and I can actually see why. She joins as a level 7 soldier and has pretty decent bases. She has a lot of speed, so she's actually prone to double a lot. She has enough strength to wield the Iron Lance at base, which is okay, I suppose. The only problem I see with her, uh, besides some of her growths, which I... I don't recall if some are good or some are bad, but the real issue I have with her is that she start she starts with E rank lances, so it's gonna be a while before she uses good weapons. But she comes equipped with one of the best skills in the game, Wrath. Wrath, the way it works is simply this: whenever Nefni is below 50% health, meaning when she has a 10 HP or less or 11, I'm not actually sure, she will get an extra 50 points in critical. She has a very increased chance of critical hitting. And that's a very useful skill to have for her. If you can get something like Vantage and uh, Wrath on her, she can actually pull some crazy combos. And I think you get a Vantage scroll um, later in the game. I'm not actually sure as of right now. She has the Wind Affinity. And Wind is actually better than uh, Water, because Wind at least increases hit and avoid. That I remember. I just saw the <laughs> the, the part 10 where Mist and Rolf got in. Uh, Nefni is a nice unit. I think I'm probably going to use her if I have a free slot. She's one of those units that can actually make or break the game, depending on how she grows. And she's actually pretty good. I, I have to like how the soldiers in the Talius games are actually good for once. Then we have Kieran, the Axe Knight. Now I look at him and then look at Boyd. 
I was actually pondering a lot about using him over um, over our a little screwed Boyd because uh, let's take a look at his stats. He has exactly the same strength, he has a lot more defense, but less HP. Luck is in Boyd's favor by a couple of points, but he has more skill, speed and defense right out of the gate. He's not a mage killer like Boyd because he has only one res, but Kirin is actually a pretty serviceable unit. I am not sure if I'm going to use him or give Boyd a second chance, but this is the replacement I was thinking about when Bo if Boyd fell behind. And well, I'll see in battle preparation if I will field him or Boyd. I think it depends because Boyd is actually on average. He has a C weapon, a C rank axe, which is pretty nice, and he comes equipped with a gamble skill. Like gamble, like Tempest, is one skill I don't really like because what he does is cuts in half your hit chance, but doubles your critical hit chance. This is not a skill that's good for him, to be quite honest, and I usually remove it from him. At least is a skill that you can decide to activate at will, so you can basically ignore it half of the time. But the thing is, sacrificing like, what, 40 points of hit for like a 4 or 5 extra crit is actually not worth it in my book. <clears throat> because this this data is calculated after a hit and avoid are placed from the weapon and the stats. So yeah, he has the wind affinity too, which is pretty okay. He starts with worst biorhythm though, so he's, a he's gonna actually have some slight problems hitting because axes are not all that accurate. But we'll see. I think I might use him, especially because I look at his stats and besides resistance, I actually see a mini titania in him. Hmm... We'll see, we'll see. Uh, was there anyone else? No, I think not. So yeah, I think this is actually time for me to... I think it's actually time for me to show you this support and then move out to do the battle preparation off screen. Let's see it. Pardon me, buddy. I haven't seen you around town before. You're traveling mercenary? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Nice sword. You look like a man who knows his business. If you're looking for a work, I have a proposition for you. A proposition? I run a vigilante group that helps keep our fair town safe. A strong man like you would be most welcome. Yeah, because Ike's actually pretty good. He knows his stuff. Nice vigilante boy. Thanks, but I got something lined up. Oh really? Oh, that's too bad. Heading out to sea. Maybe. Haha. <laughs> Cautions to the end. I like that. But just in case you are... I want you to have this. Hmm? What's this? It's a special sword. It'll come in handy if you ever find yourself at sea. Not that you would. <laughs> really? You're going to give me a sword? Are you sure? Well, there is one condition. Once you finished your job, you come back and see me. I'd like you to reconsider that vigilante position. Understood. Thanks again for the blade. And he gives us a Lagoose Slayer. Uh, going to look at it real quick. It's a C-Rank Sword, 9 might, 75 hit, 12 weight. Pretty nice, because it actually deals effective damage to Lagoose. And it's actually going to be of some use, not now, but in the next chapter. I'll put it in the convoy though, because I'm not gonna use it this map. Anyway, uh, there is not much else to see, so I am simply going to do everything else off screen and then I'll see you back. Peace out, my friends. Alrighty, I am back. This has actually been a long cut, about uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, going to show you real quick what I did. Ike is unchanged, really. I gave Miss some extra levels, now she's a little better. I actually like her this way. She's actually growing pretty decently, in line with what I thought. Uh, I'm not gonna use Braum, I decided. I'm going to bring both Leth and Mordecai, I will explain why later. Give a couple of levels to Marcia, now she can use Steel Lance almost unimpeded. Pretty nice. She's a bit lacking in defenses, but she's getting there. I'm going to field Volki because he's pretty decent, at least for this part of the game. Then I gave some I gave a couple of levels to Rolf. Even he is actually getting a lot better. If he gets uh, to 10 strength to level 10, I'm actually going to keep him. I gave him the steel bow and the long bow and wait for him to reach D rank. Oscar is pretty much unchanged. I'm going to have his steel lance break in this map. 
Uh, Titania got a simply I swap her Iron Lance because the other was about to break. I I'm going to use Nephni. I gave her a couple of levels. She's a little better. And I think she actually may be of some pretty good use. I crafted a tome for Soren, the Air Caliber, which is essentially a wind tome with four extra might. And it's going to be useful in the next map, not in this one, but it's already good to have it there just in case. Then I gave Boyd's equipment to uh, Kieran because I decided to field him instead of Boyd. Uh, I feel like he's falling behind a little bit, so I don't want to risk it. So Kieran, time to show me what you got. If you, if you fail me too, I don't know what, who else I need to bank up. Uh, yeah, Boyd is staying down. I might field Wrist, not sure. Same goes for Mia, no, I don't know if I am to field which of the two. Then Ileana, I gave her a level. She got uh, strength, and she got strength, pretty nice, but not gonna field her. And Mordecai, I'm going to use you. Anyway, let's head to the map. Port Toha. Ah, there are people now. Okay. We should be leaving, but it looks like everyone's going to be a while yet. My lord Ike, are you ready to go? Me? As long as I got my sword, I'm always ready. A sword? That's it? Yeah, if I got my cape, I can sleep just about anywhere. As for food, well, something always turns up. <laughs> That's delightful. Is it? Yes, very much so. <laughs> Princess, I don't think princesses, I don't think I'll ever understand them. Huh? What's going on? Why all the excitement? I heard footsteps. Armored footsteps. Lord Ike, there's a crowd gathering at the town entrance. That's of course. Attention citizens, we received reports of Crimean army stragglers hiding in this town. From this point forth, the Dane army will blockade all points of entry. No one comes or goes without our leave. The harbor is also closed. No ships will be allowed to sail. Ike, Dane troops have... I know. All we can do is move toward the docks and try not to be discovered. Yeah, with a group as large as ours, I kind of doubt that will happen. Have you seen Ranolf? Not yet. Wait, here he comes now. Ranolf, over here. Ooh, things are sure are eating up, aren't they? How are things on your hand? Uh, everything is all set. All you need to do is sneak down to the harbor. You'll be met by a man with a dusk pallor. His name is Nasir. Nasir is a man you can trust. Okay. I've explained your situation to him and he is willing to help. If you can reach his ship safely, he'll take care of everything and deliver you to Banyon. Ronald, aren't you coming too? I was planning on it, but Dane's movements have me concerned. I'll stay behind and see what's going on. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't watching where I was going. Uh, no, pardon me. Ah! Ah! S subhuman! Oh, blast. Oh no. It's true, a subhuman. How dare you come here prowling around here? Oh, they can smite. Beast, you stinking subhumans need to learn your place. Human towns are no good for you. They're really smiting him. It's so hairy. Go on, scat. Oh, really, Ranolf? Gonna let yourself get beat up like this? Dang. Mordecai. Ike. We must leave. What? No, we have to help Ranulf. All of this noise will attract the attention of Dane troops. That's why we have to hurry and help. He'll be fine. Leave him. Ranulf is strong, even stronger than me. It's alright. Ranulf has no intention of defending himself. Look, he's not even changing forms. I can't just stand by and watch as he gets murdered. Like, wait! <sighs> Idiot human. Yeah, this is going to make some trouble for us, right? Stop, get out of my way. Keep your hands off him. Who do you think you are? Why would a human want to protect some subhuman? He's a friend to this monster. I saw them talking earlier. What's that to you? Hey, the Crimean Royals had subhuman's companions, didn't they? Well, no. Uh, okay, whatever. Maybe you're one of those army guys the Dane troops are searching for. You there, Dane soldier. Ho! There's some suspicious falls over here. 
Huh? That way, hurry! Are you mad? Your king was murdered by Dane. And now you're going to cooperate with them? Well, uh... I heard the king was teaming up with those subhumans. That's what got him killed. Yeah, that's right. If we need allies, I'll take flesh and blood Dane humans over some fang subhuman freak. You'll come to regret this. Yeah, yeah. At least we know we're, what we're getting. Trust our own kind. Yeah, right. You people are insane. That I agree. Oh? Uh -huh. Where's the subhuman everyone's screaming about? Huzzah! The Toa Vigilantes are here. Grab those guys and turn them over to the Dane army. That will prove our allegiance and gain our village favor. Haha, <laughs> if you want subhumans on the down, I'm your man. Ike! Ronolf, are you alright? Why did you come back? Because some fool was going to lay here and get beaten to death instead of defending himself. Ah, Ike, what would you have me do? Galli and Kramia have formed an alliance. I cannot jeopardize that by harming these people, no matter how it, what ill they may bear me. Even if none of them care to fix of their own country? Even if they're citizens of Crimea after all? Well, if I'm not Gallian, so there's no reason for me to hold anything back. Ike, listen to me. They think that you and I are allies. If you attack, it's no different than if I do so myself. So, let me guess. You're telling me to avoid the end pursuit, leave the town vigilantes alone, Get to the docks as soon as possible, find the main enemy that's here, and get everyone on this boat. Is that it? Exactly. I don't care what happened, what anyone else says. I think you're pretty bright. Alright, I'll play along. But mark my words, if they attack, heads will roll. What? Hey, it's not going to do us any good. Yeah, well, we're in this already, so... Titania, Soren, get everyone together. We're getting out of here. And, yep. Yeah. Things have already gone bad. And we got a lot of troops to deal with, so eh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, um This'll be fun. Okay, uh let me choose my units real quick. Uh let's see if the team is what I want it to be. Uh let's see it missed, not Brom. Uh left Marshall Volki, uh I think about Volki. Uh let's see. Uh I want Mia, I want Mordecai, and I think I'm going to field Riss over Volki for this map because an extra healer is always nice. I'll try not to get him killed. Uh, reposition, how do we want to change it? Uh, I want to send Mordecai and possibly, um, possibly Kieran or Marsha up uh, here because there's a vigilante that I actually want to meet. And I get bonus experience for leaving these vigilantes alive, so sending someone who cannot retaliate is actually a pretty smart idea. Especially because I need to move in range of this guy, so... Yeah, I also want to get to this house. And... Mordecai needs some cover, so I actually think I will send... Um, I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to send Leth and Mordecai up here. Leth can take care of the stragglers, while Mordecai can be the bait, I suppose. Then everyone else can actually move them here. Wait, uh, real quick. Titania, you can stay here on the back. Uh, I'll need to divide my troops into two parts. One that goes down here. A couple of units should be enough, blocking these two tiles. One and two. And then send everyone else up here where the fun begins. Here's the boss, Makoya the Paladin. He has a Master Seal that drops, and he's a Bow Paladin, so I need to be careful. He can snipe with bows. Uh, one thing I need to be careful is that whenever I aggro the boss, or whenever I get to turn 6, something will happen, and so I need to actually hustle. We also have thieves in this map that will move for the houses, and I totally don't want that now, do I? Anyway, I think I'm, I think I'm okay, so actually wait, let me do some slightly better reposition. Like so. All right. Uh, don't worry about the soldiers down here. They're going to. They're going away. Uh, okay. So I think I'll send Oscar and Mia to take care of the stragglers down here with Soren, and send Kieran and everyone else, including Titania, on the upper side. 
Okay, I think it's a good enough strategy for myself. Let's move on. And let us begin. Also, one thing, don't visit the house with Lagoos or you will lose the items. I think you lose them or they simply don't get you anything. Anyway, let's go. Listen to me. Do not let a single Crimean soldier escape our grasp. Sweep the entire town. Arrest anyone suspicious. General Makoya. Sir, there's a group of vigilantes who want to help us. What shall I tell them? Hmm, very well. Let them do as they please. Yes, sir. Pardon me, are you the commander of these forces? Hey, I see you before. I am, and who are you? I'm captain of the boat you see moored here. My name is Nasir. I stopped by to accomplish some brief piece of, of business, but... Your soldiers are now preventing me from setting sail. I need to leave this place. I apologize for the inconvenience. However, we are trying to stop some Crimean soldiers from escaping. To that end, we need the cooperation of all citizens, ship captains included. My ship is a simple merchant vessel sailing under the flag of the Banyan Empire. If I present such documentation, surely will prove I have no ties whatsoever with Crimea. Under Dane rules, such Banyan papers are nothing more than fish wrap. Yet, you called yourself Nasir, correct? Protest too loudly, Nasir, and we may think you are a Crimean sympathizer. If that were to happen, who knows what unfortunate fate my your simple ship merchant. Okay, I see it. So be it. Sorry about that, I got distracted. Sorry for that pause. You there, soldier. Sir? Strengthen the watch on this ship. That man is up to something and I can feel it. No matter what happens, that ship must not be allowed to set sail. Burn her and sink her first. Yes, sir. And Makoya suddenly goes into a house. Now then, where is our special guest? Hmm... Oh god. <laughs> I'm right here, General Makoya. Oh, Sir Black Knight. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No, I just arrived. Let us proceed. I would hear your report. There are no problems whatsoever. I have nothing to report, save the tedium of it all. The farther west we travel, the weaker the Crimean fighting spirit becomes. Each town displays less and less resistance. Now they literally throw wide the gates at the first sign of our approach. With duty as humdrum as this, I worry that my troops may become sloppy and lose their edge. As a fellow warrior, I sympathize with your plight. I thank you for your understanding. This town was not scheduled for subjugation until much later. Tell me, why are you here now? Yes, as to that, mere days ago, a castle that held Crimean prisoners of war was attacked and the captives freed. The perpetrators were Crimean soldiers accompanied by subhumans. According to our intelligence reports, their trail led here. I see. The princess of Crimea is said to have fled to Gallia. If we can capture this band, we may gain information on her location. Do you require my assistance? I thank you for the generous offer, however, if you were to enter the fray, it would be over in a twinkling. My men are starved for combat. I would beg your restraint so that they may be allowed some entertainment. As you will. The field is yours. Turn your soldier loose and may their blades drawn red with glory. Your graciousness is greatly appreciated. Oh god, the Black Knight is here. Not good. Not good at all. Oh. He transforms. Good luck, Ike. You'll be fine. As for me, I think I'll play a little game of cat and mouse with these Dane fools. Let me through. The Gallian subhuman. After him, don't let him get away. And he takes away some enemies. Not too many, but it's alright. Everyone, move out for the harbor. Try to avoid conflict with the local vigilante group if you can. Let's go. Okay, sorry about that. I had to restart because um, I received a phone call again. And the mailman arrived and I had to... To completely cut the... I did... A turn one before but uh, I had to cut it off because I actually realized I did something wrong so I changed my strategy a little I put Mordecai a little up front because I'll send him up here instead of sending him here I'll simply send left up here she's going to be fine on her own I don't need Mordecai to be bait here but I need Mordecai to be bait here actually 
But first, I actually need to take care of some of these guys. Nefni, can, let's see how you fare against all of all of them. Uh, eight damage, six damage. That's fourteen. Then you do a six. That's twenty. I think I need to take care of one of them with someone else. But first, Titania, I need you to take care of uh, this cavalier right here. And then you will stay put. I will have Titania in this general area because I will need her to retaliate on... Uh, I want the armored knights taken care of. Perhaps some of the cavalier. She's going to make the map a little easy. I said I wouldn't use her, I know, but... You know what? Sometimes things have to be done. I'm going to unequip the flashblade. And I'm going to put Soren right here. Oscar, you can go up here and be of reinforcement to Titania. Like, right... Uh... Okay, so again, um, I'll move here and down here. He's going to do some... He's going to give out some help with this guy right here. And the thief, of course. Then, Oscar, I think I will send you up here in aid of Titania, because she can't actually do everything by herself. Uh, Mist, you stay... Actually, wait. Don't think I did not see you. Uh, okay, um, I will have Ike play with these guys. Like, he's going to be fine. He's going to be completely fine, he has a better survival survival chance than uh, Nefni herself. Nice! And finally I get the Iron Blade to good use. I actually want him to kill all of them. Literally all of them. Riss, Rolf and everyone else will start moving down on this in this area because they're going to be of help. Well, try to be. Mordecai will be the main bait. Uh, Nefni will be reinforcement, and same will be Marsha. Okay, this is a better turn one in my opinion compared to before. Hey, are there really subhumans about? Oh yeah, no mistake about it. And they'll as soon as kill you as you look at you. Where are they? They're over there. Cunning beast. We're just about to start flushing them out of hiding. I see. If you find one, be sure to give me a call. <laughs> I like that guy. He came to our little town just for the chance to hunt subhumans. Yeah, I kind of doubt that. Okay, so these guys will go for Mia because she's unequipped and she cannot retaliate. I think this is actually better because uh, these guys are vigilantes. I definitely don't want to kill them. I will take down that bow guy. Okay, so the mage will attack Titania. Not concerned. Free damage. Like, are you even trying? Okay, uh, oh, that guy goes for mist. Ugh. Ow. At least uh, she doesn't get doubled now. Okay, first guy to die. Hopefully. Ow, that hurts, actually. Oh, counter. Maybe he'll die now. No, he won't, unless she crits. Okay, that's actually better. As long as I can keep the thief out of. Um, away from the house, I think it's actually going to be fine. And I think this is actually a level up for Ike. Yes, it is. Let's see what it is. Come on, surprise me. Strength, speed, luck, resistance. Okay, that's very good. Now you can use the steel blade completely unimpeded. Alrighty. Ow. Uh, almost there. But at least I know for a fact that that soldier will go down. Okay, um... Oh, that was a crit. <laughs> Good job, Ike. You're definitely out for blood today. Hmm, Lef might have a little bit of a problem here. Because she's alone and I want her... Oh my. I want her to reach um, that guy within uh, the time limit of her transformation. Now, Titania needs some serious healing now. I'm not too worried because she can easily survive. She's Titania. Oh, and she level up. Let's see. Rez. <laughs> okay, I suppose it's fine. She's OP anyway. And the thief actually... Huh. Unexpected, but okay. Okay, I need to be careful about this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
So if I move Mist around here, she should be safe. But I think Nefni can actually take care of him. Uh, not really. But I'll keep her in my mind. Okay, so, um, let's see, how do I want to deal with this? Miss needs to be careful. But first... Yes, the Boyd back in action. It's a little weird to use the Boyd with a character that is not Boyd, but... You know what? Sometimes, some things have to be done. I'll put a uh, Kieran here. Actually, no, I think what he needed to do here is done. Uh, Soren can take care of this guy fairly easily by himself. Yeah, Soren actually got to a point where... It oh, Adept. Soren actually got to a point where he's actually pretty good. He takes a lot of damage from... Um, from these guys. Because a 12 attack, 2 res, 2 defense. But I'm not really complaining here. Okay, so um, I think it's time to clog the toilet, as it were. And some will definitely go for Mordecai. And that's exactly what I want. His low res might be a little bit of a concern towards the mages, but... Tell you what, it's actually fine. It's not like he'll die, right? Right? Ah... <sighs> Rolf, you really need some extra power in order to damage the Armor Knights, but you're doing pretty well so far. Uh, I need to make Mist run away. And to keep her outside of Vigilante range. Okay, so I can do this and snipe the Thief. It's actually worth a lot of experience. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. So, okay, I gotta make a line here. Uh, no one can reach uh, Titania in time for healing, so since the Thief is a non-issue now, I'm going to equip the Hand Axe and I'm actually going to check a Vulnerary. Titania should be fine for the time being anyway. Uh, no, I can't visit, so it's fine if I put her here. Okay, so uh, this, these mages have Fire and Wind, so Marsha may be in, in a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to... Okay, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's not a good idea. I mean, if she attacks, it's like what? Uh, six damage. It's not really all that much, but I'm more concerned about the armor knights rather than the the mages themselves. So I'm going to put her here. I think it's going to be more than enough. Kieran clogs the toilet, as it were, to prevent um that guy from uh, reaching, but just in case I'll put Nefni, yeah, I think I'll put Nefni here, you know, just because, just because I can, and IQ can play with this guy, have fun, use the Iron Sword. Okay, now that Ike is done with the enemies behind here, he'll actually be able to start moving towards this area. Now, Mia is still unequipped. And I want her to stay like this. And I'll I have to keep her in range of both. So I'll put her here. I think they will go for her instead of Soren anyway. Leth, attack the, uh, the bow guy. The others will simply come and suicide at her anyway, so I suppose it's fine. I think she's strong enough to take care of all of them. I do want to be fast, because I don't want a certain knight to actually come and ambush me. One thing about the Black Knight, whenever he spawns at the end of turn 6... Oh, that guy goes for Kirin? Okay, that was weird. Uh, like I was saying, one thing I want to be... One thing that I want to be tell about the Black Knight is that he will not move at full range. Like, thank god, he won't. He will simply move like a two or three squares at a time. But if you are in his range, nice one, Oscar. If you're in his range, you will have full movement. That's not something you really want. Okay, these guys are actually a pain in the butt for me right now. I really do want to take him down, but bonus experience in their case is actually worth it compared to um, combat experience. Oh, Oscar. 
amaze me again. Strength skill? Thank you, Oscar. Thank you. You're a great knight, basically. You have a lot of strength in defense. You're definitely no slouch. Okay, a left can easily solo this side. Like, these guys will simply die at her. Yeah, just enough. It's Thank goodness the left is good. Immediately. Mordecai, in this case, works more as a bait, but... You know what? I actually don't care. She will do what she has to, and then I can simply go away. Yeah, the thief is not even gonna try to attack. I think that's an easy kill for Rolf if I if I set it up correctly. 